Hey David and David's friend that's six foot five. Uh, I want to make this video for you so you can at least have a long distance perspective of the uh, the GS that you're maybe looking at here. So I'm five foot eleven, just just under six foot. I've got the seat in the high seat position, so I'll show you what I look like on the bike at five foot eleven. So riding ergonomics. This is a taller windscreen. When it's in the upright position, at my height, I'm going to have complete. Uh, no buffeting at six foot five by another five inches here. You may choose to have a, uh, an adapter piece that would deflect that. But I've got the seat in the high position, and so ergonomically, I'm completely comfortable. I, I can't imagine at six foot five you need a riser for the bar. Off the bike, I'm off my toes, I'm up on my heels. At six foot five, you're going to be uh, flat footed. But you can see at uh, just under six foot, I'm not able to completely flat foot the bike. Alright. There you go. So, continuing on around the bike now that I've got it cleaned up and fully serviced. Uh, we've got here a 2013 1200 GS and we've got the Vario cases on the bike. He uh, purchased these when he purchased the bike. So from a rear perspective here, you can get an idea of just how, how big and how much capacity there is with the Vario case. Um, changing the Vario case and unexpanding it is quite simple. Simply Lift that bar up. Gives you a, a perspective there of it unexpanded. Um, we've got a BMW soft tail bag here. This came with the uh, purchase when he when he bought the bike. It somewhat acts as a backrest for the operator. It's got a reflective uh, exterior on it. Everything else on here, we've got uh, stock, stock foot pegs. This is the BMW uh, crash bars. And you can see condition-wise of the bike, we are in very good shape here. Hand guards, heated grips, switchable ABS, LED taillight. Again, I've got that seat in the high seat position, so you can see that gap there. And at six foot five, I would imagine that's where one would want to have that. Sorry about the shadow, guys. I see no evidence of uh, tip-overs, scrapes, scratches there. This is a regular headlamp. So in 2013, that would have been an option uh, for an LED or a standard bulb. This is a standard. We've got an Aeroflow extended windscreen. And again, mileage on the bike is 5,122 miles. So I just wanted to get a video off to you guys uh, on at least the equipment there. We've got uh, the ABS, multi-trips, and electronic crews. All right.